auditors say that Rentschler Field, the home stadium of the UConn football Huskies, is losing millions of dollars every year. It's one of three big sports and entertainment venues owned by state taxpayers in the capital region. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis examines what the state is doing to try to turn things around. About 35,000 people watched the UConn Huskies clobber the UMass Minutemen 37 to nothing in the season opener last night at the 40,000 seat stadium in East Hartford. It was the ninth anniversary of the first game ever played at Rentschler Field. When then Governor John Rowland and the state legislature approved the $91 million stadium deal, it was said that it would pay for itself. And even though they got the land for free, it still does not. And there's 10 years left on the mortgage. But the facility is aging and its value is depreciating faster than its ability to pay for itself. Partially because there just aren't enough events held there to generate the money needed. It's true it does not fund uh, uh, enough to pay for either the debt service or pay for uh, replacement reserves. So largely its revenues are driven by the amount of attendance there and we would like to see more events. Absolutely. To address the problem, the governor is working to place management of the stadium along with the XL Center downtown and the Convention Center on the riverfront under the control of one agency. All three belong to the state. For a long time these institutions have been run as competitors with one another uh, and what we need is a, a cooperative venture uh, at different price points uh, that will attract different users. That agency will have to act fast. The state auditors say that Rentschler Field has lost close to $10 million over the past three years. In East Hartford, Mark Davis, News 8.